my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus we are going to celebrate the 32nd sunday of ordinary time today's liturgy of the word as we come closer to the end of the liturgical year speaks about the end of times how we are going to be ready when the lord calls us to come into his kingdom as we draw closer to the end of the liturgical year we are told of the end of our journey on the earth we are also reminded of the lost things death judgment and life after death my dear sisters and brothers most of us we are quite familiar with the musical chair game that we always have it in our church compound for the mission sunday or for any function to entertain our children even the adults what do we do in the in playing the musical chair you walk around the chairs carefully situating your sit down over each chair just waiting for the music to stop hoping that you can get to your chair before a slower person consider jesus telling the parable of the kids playing the musical chairs and then turning to you and to me asking where are you going to be when the music stops during the month of november we come to the end of the church year we consider the end of our lives we consider death and we ask ourselves where are we going to be when the music stop our loved ones die and every day we encounter the death of many we will also die how do we deal with it the christian view of death is that it is the transition from this life to a life that hopefully leads to the full union with god many times we grieve the loss of the loved one sometimes we fear of our own lives but through it all we know that if we are ready when the music stops we will receive the reward of the resurrection of the lord the defeat of eternal death this is our christian faith our faith is in jesus the eternal one who gives us his life who assures us that we can say to our loved ones who die and to to our loved ones who will remain when we die until we meet again jesus christ is the victor over death his victory is our victory united with him we will also live forever so we play the game of musical chair with faith to win ready for the lord when the music stops dear friends today's gospel presents before us three important lessons the first lesson is about the suddenness with which the end of the world our death and the jesus second coming will take place it can happen to us any time any time is the right time for god second the need for us to be awake always prepared and to be always ready for our departure from this world and the third lesson is we are called to be wise prudent and alert and ready to meet the lord always as christians we are beloved children of god a chosen people a people set apart a redeemed community of believers we should always be prepared for god's calling we should be foresighted responsible prudent and keeping always awake in prayer and commitment if god asks us if we are going to die now what would we do are we going to say we will make confession that our sins may be forgiven and be in the state of grace or we will pray the act of contrition and forgive all by whom we have been hurt but you know what Alusius Consaga the saint the young boy said when the same question was asked to him by his parish priest he said i will continue playing studying and praying because i believe that i am ever ready to die or we filled with the christian values and attitudes that will lead us to heaven when we hear jesus speaks about the parable of the ten virgins for many of us it is a nice bible story about lamps oil and getting ready for a wedding in reality this parable is a warning about 
the conditions that will exist at the end of the world we need to be wise to understand this parable in today's first reading from the book of wisdom which personifies wisdom as a splendid and unfading woman god offers us wisdom but god does not force us his way therefore it is the wisdom from god that only can help us understand his word and follow it today's gospel parable speaks about the wise virgins are we able to explore and see how the parable relates to us what do we learn from the parable of the ten virgins who are these virgins these ten virgins go out to meet the bridegroom virgins are described as the christian community who are certainly expecting the messiah to return the wise virgins are those who not only listen to the gospel but actually following the gospel the foolish virgins are those who listen to the teachings of the church the teachings of the gospel but do not follow them after having heard the call of jesus and the book of wisdom to be ready always to meet the lord to enter into the eternal banquet what are we going to do as a conclusion we need to do our best in practicing our christian faith in order to be ready to take part in the eternal banquet of the lord in heaven how do i practice my faith practice our faith through daily prayer reading and reflecting the word of god living the sacraments we have received live loving god and our neighbors then god will recognize us as his sons and daughters on the last day jesus would say to us you whom my father has blessed take as your heritage the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world dear friends the liturgy of the word for this sunday invites us to be ready to be always awake to choose well the christian values in our day to day life to live out the gospel to keep our light burning because at the end of our life we will meet our savior and we do not know when he will call us that is why jesus said in the gospel matthew 25th chapter verse 13 so stay awake because you do not know either the day or the hour each decision or choice we make going through life is a decision or choice for jesus or against jesus there will be consequences to all of our decisions for jesus or against jesus when jesus calls us from this life whenever that will be we will face the consequences of our decisions for or against jesus so my dear friends let's follow the words of the gospel so stay awake because you do not know either the day or the hour amen